Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to create this iOS screen from scratch using Figma. Now, this screen is a part of a UI kit, which I recently discovered on UI8, which is called Uno. And I highly recommend you to check it out. I left it in the link description. And in this video, you're going to learn also how to use auto layout and components. So if you're interested in learning more about this, continue watching. And now let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, so let's get started and let's create this iOS app. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a frame and we're going to select the phone and specifically the iPhone 13 Pro Max in this case. However, you can choose also another size if you prefer. Now let's double click on the frame name. We're going to rename it to two. Now, as you can see, I already have one frame and the only reason is because we're going to leverage just one element, which is this top nav bar. And in your case, you can simply go under the Figma community and simply duplicate any of the UI kits over there. So in order to do so, simply go under the home, go under the community and search for iOS. And you're going to see all sorts of different uh, iOS uh, uh, kits that you can uh, basically duplicate inside of your Figma and you can find the top uh, navigation in pretty much uh, all of them. So now that we have uh, the top navigation, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start adding some text. So let's click on text. Let's write invite to Rando mobile app and again this uh, is uh, um, a basically a replicate we're recreating the screen from this ui kit called uh, rando which is uh, on ui8 so highly recommend you to check it out it's uh, really nice in my opinion and um, yeah just very uh, user friendly now we're going to use uh, lato in this case which is a free Google web font. Let's make it bold. And uh, you can find Lato by simply going on Google, looking for Lato font, and you're going to find it right away. It's 100% uh, free, so um, it's something to keep in mind. Let's write arrow. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a arrow which is going to look well. We're using Nucleo icons, of course. So probably going to go with this one here. I think it's pretty user friendly. Let's increase the size just a bit. Let's bring it right here towards the top. I'm just going to bring this element a little bit more towards the borders. Now, we already started seeing some uh, um, inconsistencies, so I want to create a layout grid, divide it into two columns, add margins on the sides. I'm going to change the color so that it doesn't interfere too much, visually speaking. All right, so we have this. I'm going to bring this one here. And now we're going to start uh, using the um, auto layout features and uh, to create uh, the first uh, rectangles. So, or actually <laughs> first top level element. So we have uh, this uh, rounded uh, rectangle right here and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it bring it here or actually let's use uh, um, Figma's uh, math uh, options so basically I'm going to use the slash and two in order to divide it by two make it almost fully white I'm going to change that in just a moment and I'm going to use the link And let's add an icon right here. Let's also add uh, a ellipse. Let's bring it 
below. Um, actually, let's just frame this. Let's bring it above. And let's increase uh, the size of this guy. I'm going to change the color. something around these lines and uh, we're also going to add uh, some text and uh, let's uh, go ahead uh, and let's uh, bring it above so at this point uh, I'm going to make it smaller turn it to regular and change uh, the color to this one here. All right, let's group this. Now let's uh, make this uh, into an auto layout. So as you can see by default, uh, this auto layout is uh, kind of like shrinking based on the size of the text. What we're gonna do is we're going to make it uh, um, stack on the uh, left and uh, we're also going to just uh, increase uh, the size right here. And uh, yeah, I think that this uh, is working overall. Let's just give it a little bit of some size on the top. And I'm going to make this uh, white. And let's add uh, a stroke around uh, this element. And at this point, we're going to go ahead below uh, the rectangle. And uh, this one is going to be white. Let's round it up all the way. And let's duplicate this text. Let's bring it up here. Let's write copy link change the color, let's make it bold, let's decrease the size just a bit, let's center it, and I'm going to use a color such as this one, and also let's add a bit of a drop shadow in the mix, and uh, here we go. All right, now we can uh, potentially uh, just make uh, all of this uh, an out layout. Let's just uh, <coughs> bring it up here. And I'm going to just make this uh, um, stretch just a little bit. We're going to also add uh, some uh, drop shadow the mix and here we go let's change the background color as well and uh, we are at a good point All right, let's add a, a drop shadow also to the main uh, uh, the main uh, app since it's going to be easier to see the basically the division within the background. And uh, now let's uh, make this rounded so we have this nice uh, uh, rounded effect. Let's change also the color of the of the top header. <clears throat> Let's make it just a little bit lighter or darker actually. And uh, we are at a good point. Now it's time to add uh, the second part. So let's write this project. And uh, 
What we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle right here. Let's bring it down. We're going to use option, command and C and option, command and V to copy and paste the style. And we're going to add a profile picture right here. And we're going to also add the contact information. Let's make this one a little bit smaller. I'm going to write name and surname. Right below that, I'm going to write member since uh, 12th November. Let's make it a little bit smaller and also a lighter. All right, so we have uh, this uh, base going. Now, if we try and select all of this, uh, um, or actually we wouldn't even be able to make it an auto layout. So what we're gonna do is we're going to we can out layout out of these two elements and then uh, select these three and make that an auto layout. So basically what we did is we created like two auto layouts within one another. And as you can see, you can change it up also. And uh, we can simply stretch it all the way to the right. And uh, with this type of elements, uh, you can uh, totally consider creating a component. Or actually, I would highly recommend it. Um, and I could bring it over here in order to have the master component outside. And these are all going to be instances essentially. So we can duplicate this a few times. And then we're going to have uh, the menu below. And as you can see, the cool thing about the component is that, uh, see that if I change this, uh, um, it basically updates uh, throughout uh, the entire, um, like f throughout the entire um, component system. So essentially, it's just going to be a very easy and, and fast way to achieve that. But yeah, let's <laughs> bring it back to the to the original and uh, let's make it a little bit closer. Well, at this point, we're going to add uh, a few avatars. So we're going to use content reel. So let's go over here. Let's find a few avatars. Will look good. With this one could look good within this uh, color palette. So even when I'm searching for for avatars, I'm trying to find uh, um, avatars that have color palettes that work within the composition. So I'm not really too keen in the subject itself, uh, but in uh, the photo actually. Um, and here, if you click on this, you can see the entire collection. So even like a photo like this is looks really nice because it's it's very light. Uh, photos such as this uh, yellow one uh, do drive a lot of attention. So we might want to maybe consider adding a more light photo. So one which uh, isn't really um, that attention grabbing, if that makes sense, but that is totally up to you. I mean, even if you change the photo to something like this, this changes the color palette of uh, the UI design overall. So definitely something to keep in mind. And actually we'll need the, um, Content reel also for the names. So this is Jane Cooper, Alex Marcelli, Leslie, and uh, Jacob Jones. All right, change this. And we're good to go. All right. So we have uh, our basic app, 
we could have uh, at the bottom is a plus button There's also some uh, other icons um, let's add this one let's add this one And uh, let's just find a random icon such as this one here. Cool. Let's select all of them. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to lock the proportions. Make it to 15. Actually, let's increase the size just a bit more. Bring this one here. Distribute horizontal spacing. And probably one thing that we're gonna do is we're going to make them just a touch smaller. And let's have a uh, oval shape uh, for this one. Or actually, let's bring it up. Let's make it white. I'm going to use this color right here. Let's change the color of these guys too. <coughs> and uh, we pretty much uh, um, have it. It's uh, just a little bit of a, of a glowing effect almost. bit more and uh, here we go so i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the very next one